A little further north, Faustin has quietly put together an 11-4 season. With a big win last week, they sit on top of the Pine to Prairie and on top of Section 8A East, ready for the final stretch. It was a win they wanted bad. Thursday's three-set sweep of Ada Boer up Norman County West. It just felt amazing because we came in just not knowing what to expect, and we knew this is going to be a tough team. We just need to play our best. We need to just leave everything on the court. Freshman through senior, it doesn't matter the age. The Greyhounds' depth is a big key. We really do have a nice mix. We have a lot of girls who've had a lot of experience um, on the court, and, uh, and they have really brought some good leadership this year, and it really started out right away at the start of the year. Also looking at the program, you'll notice multiple multiple Manichees, Carleens, and Swansons taking the term chemistry to a whole new level. Lily Manneke, she is my cousin, so we've been playing with each other since we were young, and we are going to finish up the season playing together. Fun to be able to play with her like throughout the whole entire season and hang out with her more than just in school. On the court, their improved all-around defending has been a main factor in their success. Our defense has definitely improved a lot this year. We've been able to pick a lot more balls up and be scrappy. Really improving and pursuing the balls a lot more. Uh, that was nice to see, something we've been working on. Our blocking continues to improve. We have um, some young blockers and some blockers with some more experience. So with the final stretch of the season in sight, their goal remains crystal clear. Keep improving. We don't want to fall back at all. We don't want to play down to any, to a level that isn't ours. Leave everything out on the court because before we know it, our season's going to be done. It's my senior year and just want to make the most out of it and hopefully it'll take us a long way on our journey. The Greyhounds are back on the court tomorrow night looking for win number 12 on the road at Wabin. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.